Welcome back, everyone. Making us her chocolatey, chewy, and crispy. Actually, crunchy, crispy, but chewy at the same there time. There are a lot of things. There are there a, lot a lot of things. things right. Chocolate happening. chip biscotti that have all kinds of personality. <laughs> this is Maria. So good. Welcome. Oh, oh, I so excited for this. I and as you can I'm see, in it. everyone's it's bellied up to really the bar good. again. We've got <laughs> Melissa here, Lyric, yep. Mary, and Jean are all joining us, and Larissa. Larissa made it. It wasn't going to be right. me. Ladies, we're feeding you twice before we even speak to you about AP Bio. <laughs> there and I'm here. We have love a good it. time. We gave you dinner. You had to have dessert, Melissa. You can't I'm, leave without a little bit of coffee. By the way, like, I never leave without food. So, <laughs> what, so what makes your biscotti different than a regular biscotti? So being a, an Italian girl growing up in an Italian family, every time we would go to my grandpa's house, because you know Italians, we dine a lot. And yeah. then we, yeah, and like there's it's always. like Jews. Yeah. yeah. And, and Greeks. And yeah. exactly. Anyone who's ethnic likes to eat. <laughs> yeah. And so you sit around the table and at the end of dinner, you have biscotti. And I always hated them. That's my grandpa right there. Aww. And so, um, and at the end of dinner, you would always have um, biscotti. And they were always so hard and crunchy. And everyone had them with coffee. And I was a kid, and I hated coffee. I love coffee now. But <laughs> I hated coffee. And so you I had this really, now. yeah, I, I desperately need coffee now. <laughs> and so my mom actually, as I got, had gotten older, made um, a biscotti recipe that was like honey based. Nice. And it was soft and chewy. And I was like, Interesting. oh, so I wanted to create my own recipe because I'm a, I, I love, I'm a cookie monster I love cookies <laughs> and so I wanted to create my own recipe for chocolate chip biscotti mm. so I can have them with coffee but they are crunchy and chewy At and the same all of these time. things are so and good mm. yay Everybody they're like a contradiction like, they really oh, are yeah, delicious <laughs> it's basically right, so like a crunchy on the outside soft on the inside mm. almost mm. Baked Chewy. chocolate chip mm -hmm. cookies. Yeah. I know that's what we should call them. Yeah, you, that's exactly yes, right. You can stay. Okay. So, so, what are we, so in here we have um, just butter and sugar, and you okay. can. I used to use regular white sugar, but you can actually use turbinado sugar as okay, well sure. if you like it. And then you just want to cream it. So you want to make sure it gets light and fluffy. And we already did this for a little while already, but you can see here that's what we have going on. And then with it on low. I'm gonna go ahead and add an egg. So when you're doing this part, you want to make sure that your temperature or your uh, your ingredients are room temperature. Okay. So your butter is room temperature, and that your eggs room temperature. So with butter, there's kind of no cutting corners in my world. Like set the butter out the night before. You sure. don't want it too soft where it's melty. You don't want it uh, too cold where it's hard to work with. And then you're because if it's too hard, you're gonna have a dense biscotti. Right. Which is because then you're gonna get the crunchy biscotti that you don't want. Exactly. And if you like crunchy, then you could work with some colder butter, right. um, and maybe not add an egg, and then you would have some. Crunchy to your biscotti. So then scrape down the sides and then I like to add a, okay, actually we have that done and then we'll do the um, the, the dry ingredients. Okay. So in here we just have some all-purpose flour, unbleached all-purpose, and then we have baking powder and baking soda, baking powder for puff, baking soda for spread. Exactly. And so then a little bit of salt, I love using kosher salt because I like that crunch of salty in there. Yeah. I like finding that. And so I like the sweet and salty together. I do too, it's yeah. so nice. And then some beautiful warm uh, cinnamon. cinnamon, I nice. love cinnamon. You have to love cinnamon. Yeah, of course. My mom has a, well, I have a biscotti recipe in my book as well, but I have the ones you don't like. <laughs> Mine are the crispy ones, not the chewy ones, but my mom always adds cinnamon. It's her recipe. And she also can make them vegan sometimes during oh, Lent. Yeah. And instead of an I egg, know. she'll put orange juice in them. Oh, interesting. Really interesting. I yeah. See the connection. And olive oil. <laughs> egg, orange juice. Yeah. Egg I don't often. know. Trust me. What? Often one, Forget the egg. one yeah. for the yeah. other. Sure. I don't know why it works. <laughs> yeah. But the honey yes. thing that your mom did maybe. also. Yeah, so yeah. that's it's so there's so yeah. many ways that you can make biscotti. My mom actually makes a really good mocha, like double chocolate mocha oh, biscotti. My yeah. I come from a family of bakers. So and my grandpa actually okay. never he was not a baker. That's why I don't have a family recipe for uh for biscotti. But I love how chocolatey, like you do yes. not skimp on the chocolate. Oh, chip. and no. look at your timing. I, that's exactly what I'm looking at right now. This is why Larissa has a job. And so this, I actually like, you can use chocolate chips, regular chocolate chips. I love using the chocolate that you can get it's in a, a big dark block. Chocolate? You can use dark chocolate, you can use semi-sweet. I love oh. both. Um, I am an equal mm. opportunity employer that's when it comes to chocolate. Sweet, sweet. So okay. I like milk chocolate, I like dark chocolate, I like that's all delicious. chocolate involved. Okay. So then you just have it running. You can see this is slightly crumbly. Sure. I was noticing that. And then you add in, and I like okay. to let it mix in for a little bit. Look how pretty. Oh my Mine's gosh. Yeah. Beautiful. And so then just let that mix in. And Don't you could eat it just like that. Oh, it's and chocolate I, chip oh. cookie dough. And Biscotti I, chip yeah. cookie dough. Yes. And so then what I like to do, this is when you got to get your hands involved. So I'm just oh, going to set this aside. <laughs> wow. And then we'll, we'll right, exactly. Uh, hands. Uh, so then I just get in there. And so this is what you want to do. So I'm actually going to create 
This is so beautiful. Oh, it's perfect. Okay, so then you want to create two little oh, logs. Oh. And so they are about... Yule logs? Yule logs. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. And uh, so what I'm... Yeah, so they are... Whoop. There you go. Yes. Wow. And it's crumbly. It's a little no. crumbly. You want more crumbly it to than be, a regular one. You want it to be crumbly. And okay. then, so then, you get the idea. So you want it to be about uh, two inches. Beautiful. Wide. And keep and them then, farther away from each other. And you can keep, keep going with that. Spread. Yeah, you want to add all of it. Keep them a little away from each other. I didn't know this. And then put them in the oven. For the first round of baking. For the first round of baking. So that's the whole idea with biscotti. You bake them you twice. Them twice. Oh. And then you take them out, let them cool. But you only eat them once. <laughs> well, twice eat once. once. once yes. And you cut them on the you diagonal. You cut them on the di diagonal like this. It just give you the idea. You. I always, I, I call this the butt. You take the butt away. And <laughs> then you just eat that like that. Put them on their side, and then you want to put them in again. And How so long did then, you leave them in the first oh, time? Oh, I'm sorry. They're about 20 to 25 minutes at 350 okay. the first time. And then, so then we the would put these time. back in. And then we have some that are already done. Oh. Oh. So, like, so you would continue to cut them and, uh, oh, well, thanks. And I would like to give this to Larissa. Shoot. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Okay. Okay. Down, down, down. No, oh, you want the butt, you want there the butt. I want the, I want the, want the butt. The now, now, could you, if you wanted to, Thank say put you. ice cream on that? Oh. <laughs> While it's still warm. Yes, oh, you definitely could. Oh, and do those taste as good as the one I just mm. had? If so, real. could you pass Now you do like coffee. <laughs> Full recipe oh, yeah. available at hallmarkchannel.com. Mm. And Maria can uh, welcome you to her website. Oh, the information is at the bottom of your screen. All right, stick around. I know she's eating biscotti right now, but Liz is going to share some easy solutions to multiple pets living together. Yes, yes. Just like kids, animals all have different needs. So if you have a, a family of animals at your house and there's some issues to deal with, I've got some solutions that will make all your lives a lot easier. And it's like you guys are just taunting me. Everyone knows I'm on a coffee cleanse, and yet here's the coffee for me to dip the biscotti, and I can't have it. Uh, <laughs> but you know, probably can't have coffee. The stars of the new comedy AP Bio, and they're giving us a glimpse of all the behind the scenes antics, aren't you ladies? Oh my God, I mean, there's just so much fun we've had with the cast and the crew all together, just improvising and just, I mean, these two. Look out. Uh -oh. Look out. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for that, but next we are dressing up our dressers with Paige. I am bringing stories to life with this magical Storyscape dresser. It's really easy to make, so don't be intimidated. Come on back and I'll show you how.